you own it. You know, and, and so many more people, they take their own self-love, their own self-care for granted. And they're willing to give that away to somebody that doesn't deserve it, doesn't earn it, doesn't respect it, doesn't nurture it, doesn't cherish it. And then they still stay and come up with excuses of, well, I'm not doing this because of that. I'm not here because of him. Or I'm not this because of money. I'm not. And I was like, all that shit is irrelevant. Because at the end of the day, you're in control of you. Like nobody is in control. I mean, so if I have friends, for example, who I've been friends with, who I'm no longer friends with, because I don't, I, don't I don't play Facebook friends. If you ain't logging in and logging the fuck out of my life. Like if you're my friend all the time, or you're not my friend. I have friends, for example, that when they're single, we talk every day, we, we, we speak, whatever. But then as soon as they get into a relationship, some person they met five minutes ago, the person that you know they've known forever, some of them are like, well, I can't, I can't talk to you because I have a man. Well, I can't speak to you because I'm like, so you're allowing your man to control your life. What? I'm just trying to respect him. But is it not respecting yourself in the sense of knowing that you have a voice, you're your own person, you're your own